Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. I'm here at the edge of Niagara Falls, and uh, I'm on the United States side. I'm in New York. And uh, Niagara Falls is one of the most amazing phenomena in the state, and many people believe in the world. People come from everywhere to see Niagara Falls. Let's talk a little bit about the physics that might possibly be seen here at Niagara Falls. The Niagara River flows from this position here, in this direction, downhill, until it reaches a very steep cliff. And that steep cliff creates Niagara Falls. There's a lot of geology associated with this, but for physics, it's a matter of potential energy being changed into kinetic energy as the water falls. Now you look at this thing and you think there's an immense amount of energy being consumed. Well, in fact, there's over two million liters of water flowing every second. And that two million liters is falling 50 meters. So to calculate uh, two million liters, which is about two million kilograms, times 50 meters of height times acceleration of gravity, that tells you the potential energy the water had. And that's over a billion joules of potential energy. And that's falling every second. So that's over a billion watts. If we could find some way to channel that energy, think of what we could do. Now here's an old power station. They would channel some of the water from above the falls, channel it through tubes, pipes, tunnels they had dug, past electric turbines and let it spill out down at the bottom of the falls. And they could channel that energy to make electricity. Nowadays they're not making hardly any electricity. This is the view of Niagara Falls you never want to see. This is a raised elevation above the falls. Water comes into tunnels along this river and over to a hydroelectric dam on the other side of the falls. Well, there's the water coming out from the electrical generating station here in Niagara Falls. There's the station itself. You can see there's a reservoir at the top of the station where the water has been diverted from the Niagara River. And here it's allowed to fall the full distance. This is just like Niagara Falls, except instead of something pretty, you've got this massive structure. And inside there are runways where the water flows down, it picks up velocity as the potential energy changes to kinetic energy, and then that water is allowed to turn something called turbines, which are basically large propellers. Those large propellers are attached to generators, and the generators generate electricity, and that electricity is sent throughout New York State and uh, the upper United States. So there you have it. The sun causes water to rise into the air, giving it potential energy. It falls in the form of rain, gets stored at a high elevation, and then it's allowed to fall to a lower elevation. High potential energy falls to lower potential energy, and the process gets converted to electricity. It's all about keeping track of the energy. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye.